you doing, Mojo? Hmm? What do you know, boy? What are you doing? Huh? You ready for dinner? I gotta take care of an issue first. You've been a good boy today. What are you guys doing? Where's the game? All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today, we have a serious problem we gotta address. Luckily, we didn't have any casualties or injuries. Um, I'm walking out here now to show you guys what I'm talking about. And this is something I've talked about in many other videos. This is something that we've had to deal with in the past, and it has actually happened to a lot of other farmers, and sometimes it ends pretty bad. So what I am talking about is this hay bale just fell over off the feeder. The goats, what they do is they always come in, they always eat the very bottom of the hay bale, of course. So what happens is these goats come in, they eat all the bottom out of the hay bale. So the hay bale is good and round and looks like a regular round bale on top, but at the bottom, it's just on one little column or post. And what happens is the, the top weight of the round bell, it's so top heavy, it eventually falls over. Now, a lot of times people will come out and they'll see this and they'll actually have a goat. They'll see legs or something sticking out. And this is hundreds and hundreds of pounds, if not a thousand pounds of hay. And what this does, it crushes your animals. It can uh, suffocate them a lot of times. It'll suffocate them. Um, I've read a lot of people where they've found goats that could barely breathe but they were brain dead because it cut off the uh, oxygen to the brain. Luckily today we avoided any of that with our goats um, or chickens or turkeys anything that could have been around here. If you guys see in the videos the chickens the goats always lay around this stuff. The chickens are always pecking. If this would have fell on a chicken they'd be dead for sure. If it fell on a goat they'd probably be dead especially these little Kikos and pygmies we got out here, but uh, I've already counted our goats to know that none of them are under here. Uh, thankfully, and I'm pretty sure there's no chickens under here. But what I'm going to do here in a minute is I'm going to get the grapple. I'm going to get the tractor, the Kubota M59. I'm going to use the grapple on the front end loader. I'm going to come scoop this all up because this is still really good hay. But if you leave it here very long, uh, the goats are going to get on it, jump on it, and they're going to pee and poo all over it. And then they won't eat it. It'll just be wasted. But this hay feeder, I do not like this hay feeder at all. I really need to upgrade it. Um, if I was a better welder, I could, I could probably make it work. But I don't really have the setup to do what I want to do and weld it like how I want to. So I'm probably going to try to buy one eventually. Um, the problem with this is, is there's too many gaps here for all this waste. All this hay just falls right down in these gaps. Once the goats pull it out with their mouth, there's nothing to catch all the excess and it just keeps falling down on the ground. And the second problem is the walls or the sides to this hay cradle is not high enough. You can see what just happened. Uh, once the uh, goats eat the bottom out and it's just sitting there on one little skinny section, it's so top heavy that it eventually gravity pulls it over. And uh, if I had some higher walls or anything, you know, maybe two foot higher or maybe even three, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. That would actually catch the hay bale and keep it from rolling over and maybe just uh, get it to where I can push it back in here to the central part of the hay cradle. So I'm gonna go grab the tractor. I'm gonna grab some feed to keep these uh, goats occupied and we'll see if we can't uh, get this loaded back to the hay cradle. Shadow, did you do this? Are you responsible for the hay being on the ground? No, you're a sweet girl. You wouldn't do that, would you?
Okay, so we got most of it back in the hay cradle. There's a little bit on the ground, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, if, as you've seen, I kind of took the loader, the weight of the loader. We kind of just pushed down on this to kind of pack it a little tighter so they can't just rip big mouthfuls of it out and uh, get it all over the ground. They kind of waste it like that. But yeah, there you go. Um, I really don't like this hay feeder, so I get a lot of people asking me if I like this type of hay feeder, and I really don't. Like I said, the gaps in the spaces are a little too far apart, and it lets too much excess hay fall through. So uh, let's go ahead and um, go feed the other goats. Check up on the project. I'll fill you guys in on what's been going on with that. Not too much, but uh, let's head over there while these goats are still occupied eating. See Mojo's eating now. He's over there marking his territory. So before I forget, everybody keeps asking me where old Butterscotch has been, and she's right here. I promise you, she's still on my tail all the time. She's not always right there where uh, I am, like Red was, but she's pretty good about it. She she really knows to listen to when I'm outside, and she just about always comes running. So yes, butterscotch is still doing good, and boy, it's, it's, boy, it is cold today. I think we picked up we picked up about two and a quarter inches of rain yesterday, so uh, that's good. Fill up the ponds. We really needed it. I've had a uh, fire going in the wood stove for about three or four days now, so all that extra firewood's been coming in handy. Let's go see these other goats. All right, guys. So since the last video uh, that I made working in here, I have not done any updates at all. I'm still kind of researching on the jump gate for Miss Daisy, <clears throat> but basically I've just been really busy with work and then uh, everything else, everyday life. I haven't had a chance to come out here and work on it anymore, but I do have lights and electric out here. So if I need to work on it, if I absolutely, I do need to get it done, but if I absolutely have to try to Make time to get it done. I can always do it in the nighttime, I guess, come out here. It's just hard to do with these guys in the way. And the last couple of days, it's been raining. I didn't want to shut them out out there. They do have shelters to get in, but goats aren't the brightest animals in the world. Are they, Miss Daisy? Huh? Are they? What have you been doing? Huh? She's got her food over there, but she'd rather be on camera, I think. You like, you like uh, being pretty for all the YouTube viewers? Huh? Yeah. She's a good girl. Um, she has been, uh, she's been getting out just about every night because the coyotes have been coming really close to our house. She can still get out of the fence, but uh, Mojo cannot. So she's been getting out. She runs them off and then she comes right back. So that's a good thing. Luckily, she's not running off and running on ways away from the house and going down towards the road or the highway or anything. She's staying close to the house, doing her job, and then she comes right back and gets in with her goats again. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get out of here so she can eat. But yeah, guys, I have not done any updates on this. I know I know everybody's waiting to get it done, and uh, trust me, I want to get it done. I'll probably have Caleb come out here and help me. I think the next thing we're gonna work on is probably the gate, and then uh, 
Yeah, we'll do the gate and then we'll end up doing the jump box over there because it, it won't do any good for me to go ahead and build the little jump gate for the dog and then not have a gate because she can just come run around so I won't know if it actually works or not. She's running goats around right now. But uh, one thing that I kind of realized and uh, I was reading the comments from the last video and one person actually uh, mentioned this as well. But I came out here yesterday and I was feeding the goats and I was thinking, you know what? This could actually work as like a uh, chute. It could be like a load and chute. I could uh, back the trailer right up to the door, get all the goats in here or get the goat that I want to load. Or if somebody wants to come out to the farm and buy some goats, we can put them in, put them in the barn. They can pick out what they want. They can put them in this little area back here, kind of like a little holding pen. And then uh, back their trailer right up to the door. And then we'll have all this closed off. The goats will go right into the trailer. So uh, I can't remember what uh, viewer left a comment that said this could uh, work as a feed bunk and a chute or alleyway, some people call them. And uh, you are correct. That is a great idea. And that's probably what I'm going to try to do. All right, guys. So that's pretty much all I got for today's video. But I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, actually, I did not intend on making this video, but whenever I noticed that hay bale fell, I was thinking, man, this could have been bad. I immediately went out and I counted the goats and I was like, I need to make a video over this just to be, uh, just to be sure that other farmers or other livestock farmers are aware of the, uh, things that can happen with these hay bales like that. Um, even just taking a round bale and setting the round bale on the ground. A lot of times these little short remnant animals like sheep and goats, they'll eat the bottom part of it like I told you, they'll eat it all the way around and they'll just leave a little post for that big heavy hay bale to sit on and eventually that thing is going to fall. And uh, I don't know how many friends and, and the other people I know online on Facebook groups and stuff like that has walked out and seen these hay bales laying on top of their animals and sometimes multiple casualties from it. So I wanted to make this video for you guys. If you guys raise any kind of animals like this just just a uh, heads up because some people might not think of it and uh you know fortunately we have been blessed we have not had any animals get killed like i said earlier from the hay bales falling but we have had multiple multiple hay bales and one uh one time and act hold on uh actually and what's really bad is Whenever you start having lambs or goat kids on the ground, they love to get up around these hay bales and snuggle up and uh, lay on all the wasted hay on the ground. And if any of these guys get a big hay bale that falls on them, they're probably not going to make it at all. And uh, I've actually seen some YouTube videos where people go out and uh, they're missing their goats and they start digging around in the hay bale like that and they find their babies and uh, a lot of times they'll be you know if you got a lot of kids on the ground you could have 10 or 20 babies laying in that one spot and uh, if you do it for a living that's a lot of money down the drain so just be aware that's just one little thing on the farm that can go wrong and uh, I wanted to bring it to light learn from our mistakes like we always say you know we like to share the good and the bad so there you go that's something that happened that was pretty bad and uh, luckily we uh, escaped any bad problems from it. But anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Leave a comment down below, like this video, and we'll see you next time.